If your weekend plans include a trip to the beach, well, you might come across this right here. Yeah, so this odd looking substance has been washing ashore on several Pinellas County beaches recently. So everyone wants to know what is it and is it safe to swim around it? Tin Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio is live at Reddington Shores. Miguel, help us solve this mystery. <laughs> Well, you'll likely see these on beaches all across our Pinellas County here. I know you saw them in uh, Paso Grill recently, Courtney. Some people saying they saw them in Indian Shores. Here at Reddington Shores, there are still clumps of them everywhere. Uh, people thinking they're noodles. They're not sure whether it's safe. We don't blame them. Certainly had the whole town talking, and tonight we have some answers. We had no clue what they were. A trip to the beach. They look like worms. Had some leaving with questions. I thought that it was a couple of seagulls had gotten in a fight. And a little concerned. I was very concerned. I didn't want to touch them. What the heck are these string noodle looking things? Yeah, so we get this question every year. This is completely normal. Take it from Jace Tunnel. This is all natural. He's the reserve director at the University of Texas Marine Science Institute. Kind of like your trees or something like that would lose leaves. There's also uh, grass that lives in the water that loses its leaves. And so uh, we, we have manatee grass that comes off every year and it ends up on the beach. The white color comes from the sun. Tunnel also says the white looking pieces of plastic has benefits for the environment too. So the seagrass uh, washes up and it dries out and then it blows up into the dunes with the wind and then it acts the same as uh, your lawn would. So it's like a fertilizer for the vegetation that's in the sand dunes. I think that's wonderful. The answer is giving relief for bewildered beachgoers. Uh, we still stepped over them just to be cautious. I still don't want to touch them. Because <laughs> you never know what's le laying in them. Now they're leaving the beach less skeptical. Yeah, learn something new every day. As seagulls attacking each other, really creative answers there. Our expert also says that when you see these on our beaches, it can also indicate a healthy seagrass system, which is also good for those fishing. So bottom line, no need to panic. You can come to the beaches. This is not poisonous. This is completely normal, and it could be a good sign for environment. Reporting live in Reddington Shores, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay.